we here will be demonstrating the double second or alto pan, as um, a number of people call it. This instrument uh, plays the melody an octave lower in an orchestra or at sometimes plays the accompaniment part. Um, it's famous, well known for its strumming capabilities. This was used. Different arrangers employ the pan in different ways. As I said, some people would allow it to play the melody an octave lower than the melody that the tenor pan would play. And, but in most orchestras or groups, smaller group, they are strumming, right? Okay, right. So on this pan, there are nine notes on the outer circle, right? six notes on the middle circle and one note on the inner circle. On the left, the same thing applies. Nine notes on the outer circle, six notes on the middle circle, and one note in the inner circle. And I'll just flip the pan around so you see what I'm speaking about. Right. So this is the plain surface of the instrument. This is the rim. And this is the skirt or resonator. Right. So here we have on the outer circle, middle circle, and inner circle. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine notes on the outer circle. On the middle circle is one, two, three, four, five, six, and one note on the inner circle. The lowest note is, as I said, is F sharp, and F sharp and a half step up or a semitone up will be G. So here you have on your left side, the alternating half step will be on the right. So here we have G and the half step above that will be G sharp, it's on your left. After G sharp, you get A and then it's on your right. After E, E sharp or B flat, it's on my left. Right, now you'll notice, well, you have two hands and two pans, one play the right, and one play the left. Uh, okay, so from B flat, then we go to half step higher, would be B. And a half step higher than B would be, sorry, I missed from A, yes, A, um, B flat. Then B and a half step higher than B would be C. And C sharp is just on the right of it. From C sharp, we go to D. And from D, we go to D sharp or E flat, and it's on the right. So as you see, we are going left, right, left, right. E flat is on the right, and from E flat, we go to E, and, and from E, half step again, it should be F, and F will take us to G, sorry, F sharp, and F sharp to G, it's on the right side, and G sharp is on the left side. A is on the right side. E sharp or B flat is on the left side. Okay, all right, so it goes left and right. Now it's important to know most of the band in the standard, the instrument with the notes with B flat is on the left side, right? And the notes with A is on the right side. An easy way to identify the notes on this band is that um, if you get your octaves here, and that's B flat, right? Now you notice this is B, but it's, the octave is not here. Right, so if you go in clockwise, you have B flat and the octave. If you come here. So if you are setting up your pan, it's an easy way to see which pan should go on your left or on your right. So the one that is going on the left is the one that has the octave on its left. And the one on the right does not have the octave. Well, I trust that this answers a lot for a number of people because when they are setting up their pan, they are not sure which pan to set up on the right, which one to set up on the left, as they are not marked, okay? Now, 
Another thing that what we have is uh, we are in the tenapan, we had the octave of each note of right above it or in the middle circle. Um, the second pan or double second is called because it's a pair of pans. Um, there are single seconds and double seconds and triple seconds. This is what we are dealing here, this is, um, double seconds. The octave is sometime to the right of the note. Okay. As in the case with the low octave. So you have F sharp. So F sharp carries three octaves. I shouldn't say three octaves. Three F sharps, really two octaves. One octave, two octaves. G would carry the same thing too. A, right, and B flat, B, C. Now, C would not carry a note on the outer, okay? It's just up to B that carries the note on the outer to an octave on the outer and on the middle circle, right, C carries the note in the outer, the middle, and the inner. The B. Right, so from C, then C sharp would do the same. Right, so we know that from C, the next octave is not on the outer, but on the middle and the inner, right? I think that takes care of the, the whole range of the instrument. We have just covered the whole range. As we said, the lowest note is F sharp, and the highest note is C sharp, right? So we saw where we went from F sharp, G. So a half step on this instrument is a cross. Now, since the half step is a cross, this instrument is tuned in whole steps, right? Which is C, or let's start from B flat, C, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and up to A sharp or B flat, right? You see, it implies with this. Um, I started here on B flat, right? This, I'll start here on G. And we have G, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, which is E, e flat, D sharp. And we go F, then G, E. Right? So the second pans, they're tuned in whole steps. Right, and to get half steps, that you go from left to right or right to left. Okay, um, I trust that this is a bit clear. So you could go back and have a look at it or look at your instrument and see the difference if you've got the same setup as this. Most of the pansies are about standard now, so we'd like to try it.